Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. Uh, we got uh, we got some shenanigans going on here. So I accidentally hit one of these guys, and now they're pretty mad at me. <laughs> uh, we are going to try and make a device here to start off with. We're going to need this thing. Try to show you what I want to do here if I can. Might have to fly a little bit to stay safe. Uh, what we want to do is try to automatically produce these crystals, these enticing crystals. The way we do that, we got to capture villagers in soul vials. Stop hitting me, please. And then we throw that in the soul binder with a, with a emerald, give it some XP. Uses like, I think it's 200 million RF or something, and then it makes one crystal out of that. Hey. Yoink. <laughs> uh, so, right now I'm just doing that all manually for the most part. We're spawning in zombie villagers here, and after a couple seconds they convert over. We want to try and make a device now to do the rest of these steps if we can. So I made a attractor obelisk. I do have it, yeah. I'm going to put that down here. And we're going to put maybe this autonomous activator over, ooh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? Maybe we'll just put it over there. We'll put in, well, let's turn this on first. So the way this works is it makes uh, mobs go to a, to uh, wherever you put this thing with a range of 16. You can upgrade it to reach further as well. But if we put a villager soul vial here, it acts as a filter. And now we should start seeing them come over. Yeah. And they're going to walk in front of this autonomous activator. And we're going to try to catch them automatically. Put that in there. Let's turn this to first slot only. Yeah, so that'll start automatically catching them. Okay, I'm still like trying to figure this out, what we're doing exactly. But I think we're going to need an experience obelisk as well. So let's make one of those, like a so. Get that thing, go back upstairs. Okay, experience. So this will hold a whole bunch of XP. Okay, and we have one of those made already. I think the plan is we're gonna swap them out as we need them. So this is filling up with XP constantly. And I'm hoping when I break it, it doesn't lose it all. We will find out. Because <laughs> I'm going to be sad if it does. And then we'll put our our new one there. Uh, oh, man. We picked up a bunch of junk here. Oh, yeah. It did get picked up. Okay. So now, does this have the experience in it still, please? Yes, it does. 248 levels. Made an extra soul binder here, too. Okay. So I think we're ready to go. What we're going to do... You see it's filling up the of the villager soul vials. We're going to put those automatically into a soul binder above here. Oh. Okay. And then I think we got to pull them out of here maybe. Yeah, so that'll grab the soul vials out of here. Uh, this is going to need power. If we put that there. We want it to automatically use this experience if possible. Configure. Can we output? Maybe? Oh yeah, look at that. It worked. It worked. So after it makes the crystal here, it looks like it returns a soul vial. So we're just going to pull out of here, put back into here, and then it'll never run out of soul vials. Right? And then... We just got to feed it some some emeralds here. So maybe let's do... Let's just put a stash of them next to it. I'll just manually fill it up. We won't need too, too many in there. And we will hopefully pull. Yeah. So it's getting XP. It's getting emeralds. Soul vials are getting returned back down here. We'll just need somewhere for these crystals as well, maybe. Um, I guess let's use this other cache. Put that here. 
Take out our crystal. So it's semi-automatic, not totally. Could do it automatically if we had our ME system tables over here, but we don't, and I'm too lazy to run them, so this will have to do for now. Give that a higher priority. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a weird system, but it seems to work pretty good, actually. It's pretty decent, I think. Runs right up to that every time. Converts. I put in a double here. I think that's good enough. And we are starting to get these crystals. So why do we need to crystallize so many villagers is the question. And I will show you. Crystal. Oh, we were at it. So I thought, uh, okay, we need this vibranium stuff for the Philosopher's Stone, right? And I thought that was about it. But after a bit of uh, research here, we, turns out these blocks are used for something as well. They are used for this infinite catalyst, and we need a ton of these in the late game for a lot of different things. So it's a good thing we automated this, I think. We might even need to improve this uh, a fair bit yet. We'll, we'll find out later, I guess. But for now, we are going to... Uh, get this going. So I think it was 32 of solarium, right? 32, eight of these, and two of these makes one vibranium. That stuff is so expensive. We'll take one out of here, I guess. Put that there, make a recipe for it, and then we'll throw that into the alloy smelter. Good. And now we should start being able to produce it. Uh, let's try it out. Vibradium. Let's make a couple. Cool. Put this back in here. And that'll be uh, one more piece of our, our Philosopher's Stone recipe. Looks like it's working. Alright guys, so next up here I want to try out something new that I've never done. Uh, we have to farm these Gaia Spirits. Gotta kill the Gaia Guardian a whole bunch of times. And I've never tried fighting the the level 2 Gaia Guardian. So we're going to do that on camera uh, together here. And then I'll probably farm it off camera. But we will need our Witherless Rose. Or what did I do with that? Do I have it on me? Oh, I do. Look at that. Okay. We got apples. And I don't know how difficult this is. I've never done this fight before because I've always... Uh, been scared of it. <laughs> I usually don't get good armor when I play mod packs. It's like one of the last things I do. But uh, this time we got good armor. We made it a couple episodes ago. So I'm I'm willing to try this out. I want to see how, how tough this actually is. So instead of placing Terra Steel here, I think you just put uh, the ingots. And here we go. Also, you guys keep telling me I can melee with my, my bow, and I never do that, so I want to try that out, too. It's probably, like, really strong. Because I always use the cleaver, and it isn't the best of cleavers. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, we, this one, like, shoots lasers at me. Okay, so that's new. <laughs> and I'm having trouble flying. Why can't I fly? My Seriously, why can't I... I think it's... Is it preventing me, or am I just having trouble getting out of the water here? I don't know. Okay, so we actually have a bit of a problem here. <laughs> I don't think I can fly. And the whole arena being water here is actually a very bad thing. And I got no blocks on me, really. So I'm going to try to get rid of as much water as I can. Because right now I can't even escape. Like if I decide, hey, I'm going to die, I can't leave this fight actually. Because I can't fly out of the, the sphere here. So we're in a bit of danger here of losing a life or something. He's knocking me all over the place. Yeah, I still can't use range attacks on this one either. Man. This is a real problem. <laughs> uh, okay, I gotta be careful how I place these, or they're gonna be even worse than having the water. Okay, we almost have a floor. I thought the water was such a good idea, but no, definitely not for the second fight. 
It is for the first fight, I think. Okay. How are we doing? Like, we're barely losing any hearts, so that's good. Just two and a half down. That's mostly because I haven't eaten. Go ahead and eat again. Um, not a super interesting fight, though. I, I'm just getting spammed attack and struggling to hit this guy, so I think I'm going to fast forward. I'm curious if there's going to be like a phase two like, like the first fight had here. We should be getting close to it if there is. <laughs> I got no control here, though, guys. I'm just getting, I'm getting pummeled. Look how fast I move in the water. It's brutal. And I keep falling between the, the squares and the wire I placed. Like, my best hope is that he hits me and I ricochet off the barrier so then I can get him. Okay, here we go, here we go. What's happening? Oh, it's just like the first one. So he spawns mobs. Any different mobs? Any creepers? Looks like it's just the, the normal ones. So besides the, like, constant spam spray of of lasers here, probably just does more damage and that's about the only difference, right? Okay, here we go. One more hit. Yes! It's finally over. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see what the rewards were. They got picked up by our vacuum uh, chests here. Alright, I guess we'll have to check out the ME system. So we got uh, Mana Diamonds, that's new. Mana Steel. Will of Tor Torag. Craft with a Terra Steel Helmet to add the following effect. Critical hits apply a strong slowness effect. Oh. That is not an item you can make normally, I don't think. So you do get special rewards from this fight. Huh. Okay, let's go check out the ME system. I want to see how many uh, Gaia Spirits we actually got from that fight. Normally, it's four, I believe. Gaia. Let's see. We had 16. We used four. So that's six, 16 from that fight, I'm pretty sure. That's good. That's really good. Cool. And we can use those to make uh, soul binders, I think. Yeah, that's what we want. So we're going to need, I think, six of these. And those go over here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. And you know what, guys? I think we actually have all the ingredients for the Philosopher's Stone now. So let's go ahead and try to craft this thing. That is really cool. I didn't realize uh, it was done now. <laughs> it's like, hey, wait a second. So we got the Vibradium. And we just need the 8th Magnitude Demon Steel, which we've been producing for quite some time here. We got 5,000 of the Tier 1s in here. So what we got to do is make... Uh, we had a recipe for the 4th Tier. I guess we'll snag one of those and... Uh, I think we have to wait, actually. All right, so I just let it process for a little while here. We got 11 of them at the 6th magnitude now and 92 at the 4th. We have recipes up to the 7th. So we're going to need 12 of... Is it 12? No, it's 6 of those, right? Wait, do we have a lot more than we need? I think we do, actually. It's 6, right? Yeah, so we take 6 of those... Add a recipe for the 8th magnitude, and that is what we actually need. Alright, throw that in here. With all our other ones. <laughs> so, so much crafting. Okay, demon steel, 8th magnitude, here we go. We need two of them. So that takes six of the seven. Alright, how much do we have left then? We've got quite a bit left. Uh, maybe not. Only 29. That's not That's not too crazy. Okay, but we do have a lot of Temperial left, I think. And we're constantly producing more. 4,000. So that's like enough to make two more of these uh, in, the, in the system already. But we take these two, finish up our crafting here, and we can make the Philosopher's Stone.
Oh, snap. An alchemist's best friend. Oh, wait, there's a bar to this thing. Press C to open a crafting grid. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, okay, so this thing, I don't know if we can actually do a lot with it on its own. Unfortunately, this isn't like, hey, we, we unlocked EMC now. We can do anything we want. Uh, the next step to this is even crazier. But we got some of the stepping stones to get there uh, finished now as well. Uh, I guess let's hand this in. Claim a reward. Oh, what do we want here? I think I'm going to take the hearts. I think that's the wise choice. Okay, so now that we got the stone, we can make this fuel for EMC. We need that. Takes four of those. Okay, takes four of those. And it's just coal. Okay, that's not too bad, right? But we don't have a lot of coal, do we? Ah, 12k and 4,000 blocks. That's not bad. All right. I'm worried about this bar. I don't know what this bar means. Like, does this wear out over time? Because that would be really bad if I have to make another one. <laughs> I don't want to make any more of them. Um, I guess let's add recipes for this now and see how much fuel we can make. What's it called? Alchemical fuel? Um, let's try and make 500. Oh, uh, throw this in there. Oh, was I supposed to select fuzzy too? I think I forgot to do that. Alchemical. Well, we'll try. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work. It's working. Okay, so the Philosopher's Stone works for auto crafting. That's really helpful. And then we upgrade again. Boop, 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 boop. And then we upgrade it again. We get these white ones. The three by three of them makes the fuel block. And that is what we need here. So I want to see how much coal does it actually take to make these. Calculating. Please wait. Okay, so 10 of those, I think, it's roughly 4,000. Four to five thousand coal, I would say. Interesting. Okay, anyways, we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and claim our reward here. That was like a really easy quest compared to, to most of these. Because I looked ahead and get ready for this, guys. We're getting to the really crazy stuff now. <laughs> this is where things get a little mind-boggling. So we're going to need a transmutation table. And I think this is what actually allows you to do EMC stuff. Where you can create things out of thin air which is very powerful, but of course it is very expensive. Now you look at this, a lot of these things aren't actually too hard to get, it's like everything on the outside here. The crazy ones, we even have possibly enough to make bedrock, but the really crazy ones here I believe are these infinity catalysts. Now we looked into this, we need like vibranium and like some of these things <laughs> are going to be a bit tricky, a bit tedious. Uh, but also, we need two of these fuel blocks, another two eight magnitude uh, demon steel. We have enough to do that. Here's the thing that really caught my attention, though. The infinity stars, we need something called a neutron compressor. All right, so let's, let's check this out. Compressor. We're going down the rabbit hole, guys. Neutron compressor. A lot of this stuff is fairly easy. Uh, this dark iron, we're going to have to go to another planet to get. We don't have it. These are neutron large plates and neutron blocks. So it's like, or neutronium. Where do we get neutronium from, I'm wondering. And I think, I could be wrong about this, but there's something called a neut neutron collector. I'm guessing that's what we need. So this is our next big craft here, and most of this stuff, again, is fairly simple. This is going to be something tricky to get, and looking at this thing, we got all this stuff except for this sheet here. Heat substrate. That's going to be a tedious one, too. Yeah, so for the neutron collector here, I decided to check out like what we have in the system, what's easy to make, and this is basically what we were able to fill in. Uh, just by what's there already. 
Uh, the rest of the stuff we're going to have to start producing. So there's something called flux crystals with an X. Flux. I said it again. Probably shouldn't have. Okay, so that's two redstone per diamond. Pretty simple. So we take a diamond. And I saw we actually had some in the system here. Um, I think I did that manually, though. Redstone. Okay, so we go X, go to furnace processing mode. Two of these and one diamond makes one of these. All right, and I think this is set up to, to do that. I'm not sure. I guess we'll try it. I think we can just put this in here. No, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, where's it go? In, in here, right? We'll try it. We had like a weird setup there. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Uh, try to make 10 of them. Okay, what's happening? Is it going to go? It's filling up a redstone. That's a good sign. But it doesn't look like it delivered the the goods. Oh, we got to add uh, we got to add that here, right? We tell diamonds, maybe? Uh, all the redstone's gone. Maybe it did work. We did. We just didn't see it. Yeah, it was really quick. Okay, cool. Try again. Or we'll get more going anyway. So three of these makes a block. So I guess let's add another recipe for that. Boop, 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 boop. All right. That wasn't too bad. And uh, maybe you guys can let me know. Like... Does this actually make these neutronium ingots, this uh, neutron collector? And if it does, do we need a lot of these to farm them? Or or can we get away with just one of them? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. I don't know much about that mod. But uh, got that filled in. Uh, signalium large plates. That's really easy. Signalium. Got lots of that stuff. Let's run over to our thing here which I still haven't gotten around to automating. Who's hitting me? How did you get out? Huh. Did he squeeze through here somehow? He shouldn't have been able to. Hmm. Oh well. No big deal. Okay, so we got that melted down. Switch it over. And the large plates. I'm blind. There we go. Switch that to here. Start pouring them. We just need three. There, there, and there. Good. Uh, a lot of this is these dark clouds, too. Which I'm assuming we get in the nether. Let's go check that out. See if we can spot any. Mm, no, it doesn't look like uh, the nether is the right place. All I'm finding is sulfur clouds. Like, even above the big lava pool here, I thought we might find some. Uh... But it could be we got to go to the end for the dark clouds. That kind of makes sense, right? Refill our take. And here we go. Okay. Do, do, do. So there's a bunch of clouds up in the sky here. Let's go see what these are about. What's this? Dark cloud. That's it, right? I think that's what, what we, we want here. So I am going to hopefully harvest it properly. Nope. <laughs> they all just vanished, or they fell. What tool do we use? Oh, this works. Cool. All right. So we did a fair amount on this already. That wasn't too bad. Uh, we'll save the rest for another day, though, because we are running low on time. And I wanted to check out our solar panel situation. So I've been... I've left this sifting pretty much the whole time I've been recording today. Uh, and I redid our sifting setup a little bit. It's a little bit nicer. We got the pulverizer and furnace back down again. And I've just... I've shut it off. I want to see how much stuff we actually collect in like a couple hours of recording here. And it's not much. <laughs> so the big thing we need to make solar panels is zinc. I think that's all we got. A stack and a half. And we need tungsten. Uh, there's no way to like create seeds for these things, so we only get it by sifting. 
So each of these will produce 2,000 power, I think. And only during the day. If I put uh, liquid sunshine above these solar panels, do you guys know if that works during the nighttime then? Someone said that works for the uh, Ender IO solar panels. I don't know if it works for those though. Um, but that's an idea I'm, I'm wondering about. Uh, that'll give us a little extra power generation. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, we want to upgrade these though. So the reason we're not getting much is we only got 10 speed upgrades in like all of these. We, we'll need a lot more power to keep them running. But I added recipes for that here. And they're fairly cheap to produce. So if we do a full stack of these in a sifter, right now we're consuming... 118 RF per tick. That brings it up to 540. 540 is not too bad, actually. I'm, I'm okay with that. But then we probably also want to add the fortune upgrades. Fortune. Make some of these. Alright. And I think this really boosts the power requirement when you have both of them in. Maxed out. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, 3,100 per tick. That's not bad either, actually. I was expecting worse, to be honest. How are we doing here? <sighs> Did it jam again? Let's go check that out. Because I find it hard to believe we're using that much. No, it didn't jam. Hmm. I wonder what's taking up all our power right now. Okay. Well, we should shut this off then. Because <laughs> we're going to run out. Um, is it really? Oh, wait. What? Oh, it's fluctuating quite a bit. So whenever the diesel generator kicks on, it goes up like, like by 100,000. I guess. Maybe we're out of wheat. Hmm. I don't know if we're producing wheat anymore for the diesel generator. Oh, it's all gone. Look at that. Ooh, that's going to be an issue. I think we might run out of power. Okay, so in that case, we're probably going to have to keep this running all the time now, uh, which means I should automate it. And what does this produce? I forget. And we'll probably need to make it bigger, too. It uh, seems to average about 57,000 RF per tick, so it's about half of what the diesel generator is doing right now. We could just grow more wheat, too, is another option. But I feel like we should maybe eventually tear this out um, and just stick with solar panels and maybe, maybe the big reactor there as our power sources. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think we're going to have to wrap up here for today. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.